Now to a tense Sacramento traffic stop. You've seen video like it over and over. But what about solutions? What about education? Tonight we're going beyond the heated exchange for answers and understanding on all sides. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is here with us in studio after weeks of getting those answers for us. Madison? Yeah, well, guys, this is not the first time we've showed this video, and that's on purpose. Tonight, though, our story offers solutions from all sides on how to rebuild trust. Bro, let me go. Let me go. This is a video of a Sacramento traffic stop. It's very traumatic because you see it day in, day out. People that look like myself in those same situations, and then that guy ends up dead. Eric Murphy shared his fears with us. He's the driver. Bro, stop grabbing my hand like that, bro. What can be done so those confrontations don't happen over and over between police and the community? And now I'm going to make the approach to the vehicle. We're at the Sacramento Police Headquarters, where Officer Anthony Gamble, who runs the department's implicit bias training, is showing us how officers approach a traffic stop. There always is that little bit of fear of the unknown, right? Um, but what I'm gauging when I'm having that conversation with the driver right off the bat is what's his reaction to me? How is he responding to some of the questions, some of the answers? So now in California, there's a new law that for most cases, officers can't ask, do you know why I pulled you over? The goal is to promote transparency and limit pretextual stops, like when someone gets pulled over for a busted taillight only to have their car searched for other crimes. What's the speed limit here? Do we know why we're here? The legislator's position was to really ease the tensions between the community and the law enforcement. Have that conversation. We call it procedural justice. I'm just going to give you a warning today. I'm not going to give you a citation. The only thing I can say for certain is that the data is disturbing. Marshall Arnwine is with the American Civil Liberties Union of Northern California. He's working on another new law that he hopes will make things better. Instead of stopping people for minor traffic violations, such as an invalid registration, instead this can be handled through a non-law enforcement program. In Sacramento County, black drivers are pulled over at a rate nearly five times more than white drivers. In the United States, We've seen that a lot of high-profile killings happen at the initiation of a traffic stop. So that's the goal, is to eliminate these unnecessary encounters. A traffic stop is a detainment. An officer can ask the driver to get out of a vehicle if there's cause. The reason I'm stopping today is for speed. Do you know how fast you were going when you saw me back there? The law doesn't always consider the human element, a fearful driver. You have a gun, you have a badge, you have the power of the department behind you. That could be the perception mm. as a community member. Can you talk to that fear in these situations of a traffic stop that yeah. may be playing for some? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, the, the one thing that we talk about quite often is one's perception is one's reality, right? And so the perception of law enforcement is we're the longest arm of the government, right? We have the authority to pull you over. We have the authority to arrest you, detain you. And so some people may have that fear of the authority as, as a whole, maybe not the fear of me as Officer Anthony Gamble, but the fear of the establishment. That's a real thing. People have that fear. A real fear in search of real solutions to ease the tension of a traffic stop. So instead of this, Bruh, stop. it ends like this. Take care. Thank have you. a safe day. Now, some of the other incidents in our story came from outside of Sacramento. That was chosen on purpose because, as Officer Gamble told me, he knows that perceptions can be shaped by what's on social media, too, which broadens this conversation. You know, it's not just one person's experience. It's that shared experience yeah. that we're talking exactly. about here. Social media has changed a lot. I mean, that is what's really everybody's looking at. Yeah. And then that changes perception. And words and questions matter. I think asking someone that is being pulled over, do you know why I stopped you? That puts the onus on the driver. This new law puts it on the officer to explain this is why I'm stopping you, right? I mean, it, it's going to make a big difference. Yeah, and Sacramento police, I mean, Officer Gamble told me that for years before this law, they had not been training uh, to ask that question. They've actually removed it in their own training as well. So mm. this is something that in Sacramento has not been asked for many years for the very same reasons oh. now that it's a law. Interesting. So the rest of the state has basically gotten on board to what Sacramento has already been doing.